In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating yield farming on Avalanche blockchain. I'm going to be providing liquidity to an automated market maker called Pangolin, and I'm going to be staking my liquidity provider tokens to earn PNG rewards. So Avalanche isn't a single blockchain, it's actually a network of interconnected subnets. There are three primary chains, two of which we're going to be using directly today, and we're going to need to transfer assets between them. So the first chain is the platform chain, and that acts as an organizer for tracking the meter data of the different subnets. The second chain is the exchange chain, and that's primary focus is around the creation and transfer of digital assets or tokens. And the third chain is the contracts chain, and that's the Ethereum compatible chain we're going to be using today to send tokens to an AMM like Uniswap called Pangolin. We're going to be zipping them around using MetaMask in much the same way you'd zip around Ethereum tokens. This will all make a lot more sense once we take a look at the Avalanche platform. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is set up a new wallet at wallet.avex.network. Let's go ahead and do that now. Generate a seed phrase. Verify the seed phrase. So here we are in the wallet interface. You can see we have an address here which we're going to send some tokens to. So we're going to copy that. Now I'm going to send some tokens from Binance Exchange. So I'm going to paste this in here. We're using the AVEX network. I'm going to transfer one AVEX. Okay, there we go. That withdrawal has been submitted and approved. And in a few minutes, we should see the tokens arrive in our AVAX wallet. While we're waiting for that to go through, let's go ahead and set up MetaMask ready to be used on the Avalanche network. So let's open up MetaMask. And then we're going to select the network and then go down to custom RPC. The exact code for this you can find in the blog post linked in the description. Let's save that. Okay, we've got an address here all set up, so let's copy that address. And let's just check if them funds have come through. Yep, the funds have come through from Binance. Now what we need to do is transfer them funds across the different subchains. So let's go to cross chain. And our source is the X chain, and our destination we want the contract chain. I'm going to transfer the maximum amount. And transfer those. That's been accepted. And those have gone through. You see the Avalanche network's really fast, it executes transactions very quickly. Now let's go and send these tokens to MetaMask. So we're going to put in the two address. Select select the contract chain, enter the max amount. Then we're going to enter the address for our MetaMask wallet. Reduce that a bit just to allow for fees. Click confirm, send transaction. We can see it's been confirmed. So let's go into our MetaMask wallet now and see if we have some tokens. And as you can see there, nicely displayed in there. So we've withdrawn tokens to the X chain. We've then transferred them to the C chain. And then we've moved them from our online wallet to our MetaMask wallet. So far, so good. Let's head over to Pangolin. Now, this will look probably familiar to you. It's very, very similar to Uniswap. And what we're going to want to do is swap half our tokens for uh, the PNG native token. Then we're going to add the PNG and the AVAX tokens we have in our wallet to a liquidity pool, saving a few leftovers just to pay for fees. And then we're going to stake the, the uh, liquidity provider tokens for PNG rewards. So first, let's get some PNG tokens. I've got 0.9, so I'm going to transfer 0.45, and that's going to give me 2.44 PNG. Let's confirm that swap. Transaction submitted. That's just currently pending and going through. There we go. So now we've swapped some AVAX tokens for some PNG tokens, keeping half of our original AVAX amount. Now let's supply some of them tokens to the liquidity pool. So we're going to click Supply, Confirm Supply. Confirm. And in return for that, we've got liquidity provider tokens. Now if we go across to the next tab, which is the PNG icon. So as you can see, we've got some mining pools here. And we've got this AVEX PNG, which is for the liquidity provider tokens that we've just received. 
So let's go ahead and deposit our PGL tokens into this contract. I'm going to approve the contract first. Then deposit the funds. And there you go, we're staking our liquidity provided tokens and in return for that we'll get a weekly um, rewards from the Pangolin network. Now if we check back on this on a weekly basis, we can go in and collect our funds and then restake them or add more liquidity to the pools and then add a liquidity provider pools back into the liquidity mining. Or we can just withdraw all our funds at any time and that will claim the PNG as you're doing that withdrawal contract. Now that that's all set up, every time someone uses Pangolin to swap AVAX for PNG, we're going to be getting a fee for that because we're providing liquidity to that pool. On top of that, we're also going to be receiving the PNG governance token for staking our liquidity provider tokens. It seems like a win-win, but it's all very dependent on the growth of the Avalanche network. At the moment, it's not really a developed DeFi ecosystem there, but it's growing and I think the tech is good. So for me, the potential rewards for getting in early on a system like this outweighs the risks of it not taking off or the crypto bull run finishing before the DeFi ecosystem on Avalanche is fully built and scaled out. I hope you found this demonstration of yield farming on the Avalanche network useful. Check out the blog post in the description for more information and subscribe to the channel for updates. Thank you for watching.